Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can get the workspace host name in Databricks programmatically. Now these are the small things which are very useful because when you work on day to day basis, you try to develop any kind of script, right? In that case, you have to do this work programmatically. You cannot simply copy paste the workspace host name right you just have to do it programmatically and that is what we are going to see today so i hope you like this topic and you like the content which is there on my channel i try to bring you know as professional content as possible and you know as useful content as possible so thank you so much you know for subscribing to my channel and in case you have not subscribed yet i do recommend subscribing to my channel as well so without any further ado, let's move on to the portal and see exactly how we can get the workspace and host name. So what do you see on the screen right now? These are the two ways in which we can get it. So if you see right now, this is a Python notebook and at the top, the command one is nothing but my Python command, right? Now in this Python command, dbutils, uh, I'm using dbutils. So dbutils I have explained in one of my videos and this one if you go to my channel and you check the databricks hands-on tutorial pie spark right over here there is uh, a video widgets in the databricks right so uh, sorry not this widgets in fact in the playlist of learn databricks in 30 days sorry in fact i myself forgot like you know where i have kept that particular video so in learn databricks in 30 days i have this particular uh, you know video parameterized notebook in databricks db utils widgets right so this is the uh, place where i have described about widgets and uh, db utils as well right so you can actually go ahead and watch this video now using the same db utils like db utils is the functionality which is there in the databricks itself so using this you know you can actually type in this command which is nothing but db utils dot notebook dot entry point what is the entry point for that particular notebook right and get the context right now the moment i run this you know i will actually get this particular uh, url which is nothing but my databricks host name now similarly this is something that i'm doing for python but in case you are doing it for scala as well in that case what you can do is the command won't be that long in this case you will be directly typing in dbutils dot notebook dot get context so essentially you are trying to get the context right from the uh, notebook using dbutils so you can directly run this command as well in case you are doing it for scala and this is very useful at multiple places when you are trying to do any kind of automation or when you are trying to build a script which is automatically doing you know multiple things so thank you so much for being till here do let me know in the comment section whether you are liking these kind of short tips for uh, you know working on databricks or not so thank you so much for being till here